Chapter 2, How to Identify Pacific Salmon Species, Part 2. In this section, we will learn how to identify several other species of salmon. We call these non-target species because we generally won't ask you to take biological samples from them. The species we will learn to identify are Chinook, Coho, Chum, and Steelhead. In addition, we will have a chance to review and to practice our skills for identifying all of the described species, and there will be a short quiz at the end. To begin, let's learn how to identify Chinook salmon. Chinook are the largest species of salmon that you will see. On average, they could weigh 10 to 20 pounds and are often around 80 to 90 centimeters long, but they can be much smaller or larger. The first thing you notice about the Chinook salmon may be its size. Then there are the spots on its back and tail. There are spots on both the upper and lower portion of the tail, and the spots on the back have an irregular shape. Keep in mind that the spots on the tail of the Chinook are smaller than on the tail of the pink salmon. Next, take a look at the mouth. Chinook have large, sharp teeth and black mouth with black gums. This is why they are also called blackmouth salmon. In their spawning phase, Chinook salmon become a darker color, ranging from dark red to bluish green. Males develop a kipe and a bit of a hump. The jacks of this species are easy to confuse with pink salmon. Jacks are males that return to the river early. Because they are younger, they are smaller and are close in size to pink salmon. Take a look at the pink salmon along with the Chinook Jack. They look quite similar, but the smaller spots on the tail, the black mouth, and the irregular shape of the spots on the back of the Chinook help us to properly identify it. Now let's turn our attention to coho salmon. Coho salmon will mostly weigh around 6 to 12 pounds or sometimes more, and will often be around 50 to 70 centimeters long. Coho are often confused with Chinook because they can be close in size and they both have spots on their backs. However, Coho tend to have fewer spots on their backs than Chinook. And if they have spots on their tails, the spots are only on the upper half. They have large teeth and dark mouths, but unlike Chinook, they have light or even white gums. The color of Coho's gums is the best way to tell them apart from Chinook salmon. Coho have a square-shaped tail which is not as deeply forked as some other species, and they have a thick caudal peduncle. As they approach spawning time, the male coho become reddish on the sides, green on the back and head, and often dark on the belly, while females are less strongly colored. The male will develop a kipe and a hump on its back. Another species of interest is chum salmon. On average, chum salmon might weigh 8 to 12 pounds and be around 60 to 70 centimeters long. Chum salmon usually spawn fairly close to the ocean, so if you are further upstream in the Fraser River, you most likely won't come across this species. Unlike coho and chinook, but similar to sockeye, chum salmon do not have spots on their backs or tails. They have light-colored mouths. The teeth of chum salmon, however, are quite large and erupt from a dark band in their otherwise light gums. Also, chum have a long and narrow caudal peduncle and a deep fork in their tail. Chum have a small white tip on their anal fin, and their fins can have an iridescent quality difficult to show in a picture. If you get some experience looking at gill rakers, you'll find that chum have fewer and shorter gill rakers than sockeye. As they develop their spawning coloration, Chum show reddish purple streaks or bars along their sides and an olive colored tinge on their dorsal surface. The male will develop a kipe and a hump on its back. Finally, let's look at the steelhead. You might occasionally come across a steelhead trout. Unlike the previous described species, they can spawn more than one time. An average steelhead could weigh 7 to 20 pounds and be 50 to 80 centimeters long. Steelhead have relatively small heads. They can be identified by the small, sharp teeth on their upper and lower jaws, and their light mouths with white gums. 
They have many small spots on their backs and tails and have a square-shaped tail with a wide caudal peduncle. Steelhead undergo many of the same changes as salmon as they approach their spawning phase, becoming darker on their backs and red on their sides. But the steelhead you'll encounter will likely be bright in color. In this next section, let's practice our salmon identification skills. Have a close look at the mouths of these species. Look at the outside of the mouth, especially the lower jaw. Notice how Chinook and Coho have darker mouths. Now have a look at the gums. Chinook have black gums, but Coho have white gums. Pink salmon also have darker gums, while Chum and Sockeye are somewhere in between. Next, let's look more closely at the tails. See how some species have lots of spots? You can easily identify the pink and the Chinook because they have lots of obvious spots. Pink have bigger oval spots than Chinook and coho usually have spots, but they are not as obvious and only on the upper portion of their tail. The spotless chum and sockeye tails are a bit harder to distinguish, but chum have a narrower caudal peduncle and some silver streaks in their caudal fin. Also notice the fork in each of the tails. Chum have relatively deeply forked tails, while the tail of a coho is quite square. 